the Recollection project came about was because I was involved in bringing a, an exhibition over from Japan, which is a travelling tea house. Um, it's a touring exhibition around the world and we were lucky enough to bring it to Bath. Um, it was a contemporary take on a Japanese tradition, with, which was the tea ceremony. We were able to invite local groups in to experience this tea ceremony, which combines culture, art, a sense of place, a sense of well-being, and through this ritual awakens all of the senses. So we decided to base the project around the British afternoon tea, which had lost its um, popularity for a while, but is actually um, going through a revival at the moment, and um, it became the perfect activity to centre the project around. So our project really has, as it's developed over the, the last few weeks that we've been running it, become a ritual in itself, which starts with Catherine making these beautiful cakes um, and uh, bringing them to my door and then I bring them to the Holborn and meet with Rose and Paula and we have um, a real sense, we've, we've all discussed it, spoken about it, of actually preparing the table. So there's a sense of um, reflection in laying out the table um, and presenting these lovely cakes uh, for our um, participants when they come in and making the space ready for them because we want to give our participants a, a space to, to, to enjoy without anxiety, uh, to be able to feel that they're part of the Holborn and that their participation is really valued by the Holborn uh, and engaged. Um, and then we, we all, the um, participants on the project will arrive. We have taken it week by week, we've visited a different gallery. The Holborn's got lots of different galleries and we've focused on one particular collection and we've toured that as a group listen to the different conversations and, and, and enjoy the history that we are, we're sharing. It's a great leveller going around the museum um, because we all come at it from the same point of a new experience. Um, and one of the things I have enjoyed about it is it's an opportunity to share one man's history uh, together, uh, which has been really enjoyable. Um, so then we go back downstairs and we have a tea, a cup of tea. So we boil kettle, uh, cake, the table's ready laid and everybody has um, their tea and then we start talking about what we're going to make and we then have various arts activities that have been chosen because of their relationship to the tea ceremony or their relationship to things that have been discussed in the group before, so quite sensory uh, things to work with. And so then people break away and into their own areas of interest and we produce some artwork. Some of the art activities people have done before, such as painting and drawing, um, and some of the art activities they've never done before, such as screen printing. And uh, we've been doing some plaster work based on the Cathy Dolwood exhibition, which has been at the Holborn since we started the project, which has been something completely different for all of the participants. As a carer, one becomes more and more immersed with um, you know, looking after one's cared for and um, more and more housebound and more and more or rather less and less confidence because you're not going out and you're not mixing with people and you're, you're just forgetting what you can and can't do. So it's from that point of view it's been very good and um, actually when I came I didn't realise this was for me as well. I actually thought it was just for Alan. And for Alan, it's been, it's been very good, I think. It's done him very good to get out. And for him as well, it's re, it reintroduced him to his love of art. And we've been seeing other exhibitions since. And, and we'll continue. So that's probably the most important thing that's come of it. And it's great to see other people. And it's great to, to um, you know, realise that you're not alone, really. And get your hands dirty. Well, I like coming here because uh, I think it's given you the opportunity to do things you've never done before. Absolutely, yes, yes, yes. uh, the, the, the opportunity to do things you haven't never done before. That's all right. Which you never thought you were capable of doing. You can do it if you try. It's not a, not a Rembrandt, but you enjoyed the plates, didn't you? Yeah. Putting decals on the plates. I did enjoy that one. Yeah. You enjoyed that, and they've been fired. And now you enjoyed the you enjoyed the screen printing as well. And this week we did two different colours. Okay, so this group would be very different if um, it wasn't a collaboration because we wouldn't have access to the Holborn Museum, which is an integral part of. Um, 
the group success. Um, so often with secondary mental health care, people are accessing appointments and treatment that are in clinical spaces. And it was really important that um, this group was held in a creative space. Um, and the whole band being a space that is familiar to lots of people living in Bath. Um, it is somebody's larger life story and through accessing the handling collection and looking, viewing the gallery, the museums, exhibits, promotes reminiscence and, and people's own life stories. The Holborn is an art museum and we say, and I think we believe that it should be a uh, Bath's art museum for everyone. And it's about that for everyone, uh, really, that this project is partly about. I mean, we know, because we've seen it, and many of us feel it ourselves, that engaging with art and, and creative activity can change your life. Um, and in relation to all, any community, really, that's one of the things that we want to do, to, to bring people here who might not normally expect to be here and to uh, provide them with things that might be difficult for them to access anywhere else. Um, the impact has been different on different people um, but I think that it's impacted them all in, in some way. They all seem very keen to um, come and there's been conversations around what they're going to do after it's finished. Uh, one of the participants in particular, um, his wife said that he's getting up more easily and um, he's looking forward to the sessions and it's really opened him up and given him a real sense of purpose for the week. Um, and similarly for the carers and the spouses of, of some of the people, um, they too are finding that it's a space that is dedicated for them to be themselves or to do something for themselves and that has given them a real sense of self again um, which was one of the things we were hoping to um, one of the impacts we were hoping would come out of the project so it's not only to give the person living with dementia um, a, a great environment to express themselves and, and to meet new people but also the person that comes with them to feel that they too are equally um, valued.